on on uh, neuroplasticity and neurodegeneration and so yeah. I want to you have the brain initiative going on you have the um, connectome going on and so this is mapping all of the neural pathways and neural networks within our entire nervous system right. this is very exciting uh, teach us about why this is so important so the brain is is very special in many ways it's one of the things that separates us from other animals our ability to to think about the past and the future, to, you know, uh, it's not just memory, it's our ability to, to uh, think out of the box, to uh, intuit, to emote, um, to show sympathy, and uh, all of that's, uh, we can, another thing that makes it unique is you can replace almost any part of your body. I mean, as we go into the future, organ transplants will become mm -hmm. uh, very easy, um, but it's hard to replace certain parts of your brain that are responsible for the memories that make you, you. Um, so we want to learn more about how that's encoded, um, and we want to do it uh, inexpensively, something that could be used clinically, where we know the connection of every, you know, every neuron might be connected to a thousand other neurons, you know, 36 billion neurons, each with a thousand connections or big range, and, and whether those connections are inhibitory or excitatory, mm. um, we can map out this at mole single molecule level. So we could really go down to a resolution of, of the synapse. Um, and, we, and we have uh, uh, a, a big uh, government project uh, um, from IARPA called the Microns Project that it aims for synapse re revolution, resolution connectome. Plus we can find out what the lineage of the cells were, you know, what cells begat you know, what precursors became, became those cells, where they migrated, and what, and what their expression state is, which again is relevant to mm -hmm. understanding. If, and if you had to, um, that kind of deep understanding, you could reconstruct it if it got broken, yeah. potentially. Um, I mean, we're gonna start with very simple things like dopamine and Parkinson's, yeah. but eventually we'll get to more, be able to reconstruct more and more complicated connectomes.